A classic car restoration business is one of the four local firms which has put some of the four million pounds into this project. The problem is not enough skilled staff and not enough training for young people in rural areas. The solution is this, the Marches Centre of Manufacturing and Technology, which opened today in Bridge North. Is it difficult to find this kind of training opportunity in, in more rural areas where we are? Yeah, it is, because there's not many, especially with the high te technology that there is. You'll be struggling to find what best suits you for your learning. You usually have to go to big cities like Birmingham or close to London, but this is a really got good opportunity to find young talent, not just in big cities, but rural as well, where normal people live. I don't know of this type of centre existing anywhere else in the country, and actually when Jake Berry, who's the Minister for Northern Powerhouse and Local Growth, visited, he, he very kindly described us as an exemplar and a benchmark for other areas. Firms can send their existing staff here for more training or buy a subscription. And for £2,000 a month, they get a day a week to use the high-tech kit to design and test the products they're making. Now is the best time for anybody to get into engineering. Uh, especially with the amount of companies that are out there and the people that are looking to help address this. It's making it more exciting, it's gone away from the, the, the dirty factory environment and it's, it's more clean. It's keeping the engineering world afloat for the future because there's a lot of dying trades because the workforce is getting an old workforce and there's such a skills gap. The government is backing this project. It gave £1.9 million through the Local Enterprise Partnership. And the hope is that it'll help keep the old skills alive. Mark Goff, ITV News, Bridge North in Shropshire.